mouse clicks happen in the screen space, but you can project that point of the screen to a point in the world and know if you click on a game object. The only thing that object needs is a collider. I can show you how to do it, but you'll have to give me a minute to prepare all we need. Let's create a couple spheres. These kind of objects come with a sphere collider, so we're gonna be able to detect them. Create a new script and an empty game object to assign it. Otherwise, the script won't be executed, no matter how hard you try. Inside the script, let's define a camera type variable and in Unity, drag the current camera to this variable in the inspector. And that's all we need. Subscribe to the channel and let's start. To detect the object, we're gonna do something called ray casting. We need to define a ray that starts in our camera, pass through the point on the screen where the mouse cursor is placed and projects to the world. Then check if that ray touches a collider and if it does, get the reference of that object. I know it may sound complicated, maybe I'm failing with the explanation, but it's not so difficult. Unity will make most of the hard work for us. Let's go step by step. First, we need the mouse position. We can get that with the input class. Maybe define a local vector3 variable and assign the mouse position in this way. Then, let's define a ray variable. Here we have to define the ray we need. But how can we construct that ray? Well, there is actually a function from the camera that will help us. Ray is equal to my camera dot screen point to ray and use the mouse position as parameter. Now that we have the ray, we perform the ray casting. For that, I define a local raycast hit type variable to store the results of the raycasting. Then, I define a local boolean variable and assign to it the execution of the raycast function from the physics class. physics.raycast. Now, this function can be called in many different ways, sending different parameters. For this case, we are going to use this overload. And to use it, we need to pass the ray and the output variable with this out keyword. So now in this variable, we will have the result of the raycast. If it's true, we hit a collider. If it's false, the ray lost in infinity. Now, if we hit something, we can print, for example, the name of the object we hit. And if we don't hit anything, print a different message. In my case, for this example, I'm going to get the mesh renderer component of the game object we hit, access the material assigned to that mesh renderer and change it the color. This will work because all the objects in our scene uh, that have colliders also have a mesh render component. So let's play this and see what happens. If we hover the cursor on a game object, the object changes its color. And also notice the messages in the console. We are constantly checking the objects in the mouse cursor position. To finish this video, let's detect the objects only on mouse click. To do that, we put all these instructions inside an if statement with the left mouse button down as the condition. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.